Hello everyone, my name is Jonas and welcome to Factorio. Factorio is a game where you pretty much build your factory, but not just one factory. You build a whole complex of factory where one item from one, uh, from one place goes to a, a machine to one place and then gets made to a new product and go, gets placed on a new uh, belt to a new factory and so on and so on. So it's rather big and complex, but I will try to keep it simple, explain it as best as possible, but no guarantees, but I try my best. I will play on the 1230 beta version since uh, the normal version is 1229, but it has some memory leaks. So I'm not gonna risk uh, anything like that. So let's get into the game. So you have here a campaign. You can use this. This is pretty much a tutorial where you learn the basics of the game. I played through it as well. And really help me learn the basics because it's kind of needed or the game is complex in ways and you really want to learn the game uh, pretty well to before making a CA out of it at least that's what the feeling I had so you can uh, make your custom scenarios or use the sandbox mode really useful if you want to make a guide, so I probably will use it in future for guides but for now we're gonna make a new game you have the option to use peaceful mode that means that the enemies or aliens won't ever attack you first they will only attack you after you already did your first hit but I will leave it on a normal way I think that's more how the game should play you can adjust the map size. I'm just leaving it for infinite. So yeah, the maps will be really huge in the end if you really want to expand and expand and keep expanding. It's all possible. Uh, I'm gonna leave all the ores and stone and coal all on standard. The only thing I want to change is here the starting area. And I like to start with a bigger starting area. This will mean that we have probably some more resources close by where we start. So let's generate the map. So uh, pretty much at the moment the end game goal is to launch rockets into space. But after that the game won't end, you can still continue and play your game. So let's continue. So this is us. And if you look at the map here, we can zoom in and zoom out on the map. This is currently our map. And this is all black. We haven't explored that yet, but we can in the future. Uh, so yeah, this dot, that's us. So let's take a look what we have around us. We have here some stone, stone. Here we have iron, copper here, here small pads of copper, iron, there are more stone. We have here a big forest, so that's nice. And here we have a big forest as well. We have plenty of lakes. There is here some more iron, iron and copper. So the thing I'm actually really missing at the moment is coal. Ah, here is coal. Because we really need coal for our resources. And here is more coal. Okay, I think we can definitely work with that. And here is some more copper. Yeah. Uh, okay, here is another patch of coal. So, yeah, in the beginning we don't walk as fast as you notice. We can zoom in way further. This is us. 
we almost look like a, some kind of mine worker. It's kind of a way a survival game, but same thing a building. We have here a gun and with some standard ammo. If you look at the inventory, we start with eight iron plates, a burner mining drill and a stone furnace. And we can here we have logistics, production, intermediate products and combat. Combat is your weapons, turrets, radar and magazines, so your ammo. Here we can have make uh, plates and gear wheels, circuits and science. We need to make science in the end to explore new uh, technologies. And here we have our production. So this is one of the things we want to make as fast as possible. Actually, if I look at this, I can already make one of it. And it, as you could see, you see here in the bottom that it was producing the product and then making it. And it immediately uh, equipped it. And actually, can we unequip it for now? Yeah, we can. Because I want to show you something. Because like this goes so super slow. This is all the time we need to get like one piece of coal. Okay, coal is quite slow. This is really slow. I think that f felt like an ages. So let's put the, this tool now and let's try again. See how much faster that is? So much better already. Okay, so, and this tool we can use it for pretty much every material. So that's good. And every time we take, uh, take down a tree, we, you see plus four wood we got and we have now a total of 16. And they will all come here in our inventory. So let's farm a bit of wood. But as you notice, this process is rather slow at the moment. And that's for now, it's okay because we just started. But in the end, or later on, we want to try to automate uh, all the processes. So we go a bit faster and then we don't have to do it manually but then it will go automatic i would like to note some things for this series though i'm gonna play this first series of factorio without any mods because i want to learn the game more and i already learned a bit of the game but there's still a lot for me to learn i haven't even tried out a lot of things so and there are a lot of ways you can design your factories, which I want to tr uh, figure out my uh, my own preference. So that are things like I would like to do. So now we have some more coal available. Okay, I think we have plenty of wood. So we have here this uh, mining drill we can place here. And if we over over it, you see on the right how much of it we have. And we can turn it with R. So let's... I think this is a good spot. So let's put it like this. And I believe... No, we don't need that. Um, yeah, we can make a... A box and then we connect this box and then it should immediately go there we have a few coal where we started off on a witch mine so I had to use this burning mining gel we require some fuel and it will take slowly up and then oh it's not going in this chest at the moment 
So it's still in front. Uh, yep. So if we break it down, we get it back in our inventory. So that's good. Um, yeah, we want more more mining drills and which in the top we see what we require and how much time it takes to make it and in the bottom we see like a total sum so we need some stone here and iron to make another one so i guess we will come that really soon uh, so yeah, now there's like a coal here I believe this doesn't do it. Does it? It's not what we want. Um, we will revisit this later. I would like to go to the stone now. If we had some stone here. Yeah. Yeah, resources will replenish over time, so we have to find some new stuff. Let's get uh, 10 first. I believe we can make some basics with it. So we need to boil later for energy, but we want to wait with this. So to make this one, we need uh, 9 iron plates. For that we need, and we have only 4. So we need five iron, I believe. Yeah. What we can do, we can uh, build another stone furnace and place it over here. And we put in some coal. Um, if you right click on it, you take like half out. Or if you shift click it, you put all in it with a max of 50. Uh, we put uh, iron ore in. And it will build. Meanwhile, we grab some more iron because we need a lot more. Of course, we want to automatic this system as well. So I think we have now enough for. What do we require more? Oh, yeah, we need more plates. And we can just take this out. And now we can make one. Oh, did I click away? Yeah. So it requires those items to make first, and then it can make the machine. And what we can do now is, oh, we're in the way. We can put in some wood. Wood works as fuel, uh, but it will use up a lot more food, but coal works as well. I rather use school, but now it's using and it's putting it straight away in here. So that's a good thing. You need to walk quite a bit to get to the coal. That's unfortunate. Uh, so it's producing the, all the coal, but. I got out of fuel. Yeah, this is not the best way to set it up. What we could do is put an inserter of an on normal. Uh, we could make one of these. Instead of this one, we can put this one here. And then we put this one here. So now it will put all the coal in the chest. Uh, 
which is all fine. So we can take it out and then we just need to get some call running and stuff and then that works fine. Yeah, we're using quite some coal uh, at the moment to do this whole process. And this one uses a little bit of coal as well to put it in. So this is not optimal at all and we want a new system for it in future. And we want to expand it and get more uh, drills and stuff because we need more okay actually let's let's take these with me and then we go back to the iron see this one is already out of fuel uh, let's just put all in. So we have now quite some plates. That's good. And what we want to make is another one of these. And we like some more stone. <clears throat> so let's take 10. We want to make this automatic in future too, of course. Yeah, it's quite a far walk. This would be closer, but I like to use this one for now. So what we're going to do now is the following. Um, we're going to place this one here and remove that one. And put it like this. And then we... Put like one call in. And now it's fueling uh, each other. Because this one is giving up on coal. And uh, the machines have a small storage themselves as well. So as you can see, here's some coal which they get from that one. And then that one is giving that one. I'm going to remove this, we don't need it. Uh, we can't make the other inserter yet, I believe. So yeah, we want some more of these. So we're going to use the same method as here. Then we need one cool. If you just right click on it, then it uh, uses just one. And now it should give each other a call. And now by control clicking, we get all the call from it. We don't need this box here anymore. So we can take that with us. And then we grab some more stone and iron. So we can put this one now in. So we need some more stone. And then the next step is to automate the uh, stones. Yeah, that went super slow suddenly. This is really going slow suddenly. So 
do I have enough? We have now one machine. And I want a stone furnace, so I need five more stone. Is it because it's dark, it's going slower? I'm not sure actually. Earlier it went a lot faster. So we have five stones, so we can get another furnace. So what we do now is oh, put this one here and put this one here. And then we can put like half in and other half here. Oh. So now we're picking up stone and it automatically goes in here. Oh, actually, I don't want stone bricks. I'm not going to use them at all at the moment. I just want this. What we can do is we just put the box next to it. And now it will put the items in the box. <coughs> and that's what we want. We should have, I should have done that with the call as well. So it will now just put the items in the box. We can click and then take it out if we need stone. Uh, this is good, we need iron plates anyway. So, yeah, we have to press start to start our research. So let's start with automa uh, automation. It requires us 10 red beakers, science spec one. And then we can make an assembling machine and long handed inserter which we both really can use so let's research it so we're not spending a lot of time to research so it will be a long process for now so what we want is more of these um, burning mining drills for now although we really would love to get power right away let's build three boilers and steam engine Uh, we need copper for that, so... Yeah, this is really slow. Maybe that was a bit too early, but it's fine. Ah, uh, is this why it is so slow? Yeah. My uh, tool already expired, that's why it was slow early. Didn't expect it to expire that fast. Let's uh, just get that. So what we can do, we need some more stone. So for stone, click here. And we can make this and two of these. So we put this one here and this one next to it. And I would like another one. I only made one, yeah. Like this, and then we need some coal, so I can, let's start the first one. So I'm now drilling some copper ore, and immediately goes here to make plates. It's not an optimal setting, but this is like half automated, because I still need to get more coal now. Um, the way we walk is just using uh, WASD, so like this. With F you can pick up items when you move around over ground. We don't have belts at the moment, but I can show that later. Uh, these are now full, as you can see.
So we need more copper now, copper plates, and then we can work on that one to get power. So let's click those, collect our items. Collect our stone here. And collect our iron plates. So we can put some items in, but we can also do like this and then just shift click it. Let's fill up this one as well. I'm gonna do the same here. I want it to go a bit too quick now. Uh, let's fill that one with half and the rest there. So we can get some copper plates out. Now we can build an offshore pump. So we now want, um, we can build this energy and you want to build it next to a lake. And since my coal is here, it's for me really efficient to do it here. Maybe I should have worked that copper. It's quite efficient for me to do it around here. So I can build... Uh, let's build it like on this edge. So what we do, we build first an offshore pump. And then we build some boilers. And you need to fill this with uh, coal as well. So we just collect them. And then you build your steam engine, but I want to do one thing first. Uh, let's see if I can build them already. Yeah, I want to build some pipes to the ground. And this, this will bring us that we can always walk through here because it's quite a big thing. The steam engine here, as you can see, quite a big item. And now we can always walk through without problem. So we insert our coal here. Uh, we need more coal. And this will show the signal that there's no power. However, this one should produce power. So, and the thing is, it's not connected to any electric using unit. And that's why it's showing. So we can now build some electric mining drills. And I need Let's not get a lot of those. And some electric poles. So what we can do now is build this electric mining drill. As you can see the area around it is much bigger. <coughs> and the green area is all which terrain I can use. Um, but we are walking a bit to the way. So we can, what we can do is cancel Let's just work this one here. And now we need to connect this with the power. So we put the pole here. This is like a max size. And now it's connected. And these are pretty much only working when our machine needs uh, energy. So now they are off because it's on temperature and providing energy. And this one doesn't require that much energy yet. Oh yeah, we need one more thing now. 
what we would like is some uh, transport belts but we are all out of area so we have to go back again and this one is out of energy I have a few cool Uh, let's just steal a bit of coal from there. I don't have that much coal. I need way more iron. But I want to put it all on electric later. We have plenty of copper for now. Uh, yeah. I have plenty of copper for now. So let's just do a one. I have here another electric mining drill, which I can use. So we get some more iron. And the advance of this is as well that it doesn't require as much coal anymore, since you're using power and you're just using coal for the other area. Let's get the stone from here. So we want to do that with the rest too. I eventually will probably remove those. So we can build a few transportation belts now. But we need a lot more iron plates. So we can rota rotate them like this. And we are, well, I'm not close enough. So now we need to connect this to the, our power network. We can put I'm trying to do it like a max distance. Because that will save us some poles. And we got it connected. So that's wonderful. And now all the iron ore is going here, so that's great. What we can do is, uh, no, that's not. Uh, we need more iron plates. Well, we should have some more here. What we also need is another furnace. What we can do here is like this and then uh, let's grab two more. And we need those later. Like this. And then we want another stone furnace. We need to expand to our belt a little more. So we remove that one. So These don't have power, okay. Well, I think it's fixed now. We got it in the middle, yeah. So what we need now is some more coal.
So let's grab the coal and then we can grab a lot more iron plates. And those can work then again too. Yeah, we need a lot more iron plates. So I think it's a good thing we increasing our production at the moment. Let's just grab those. So I just control clicking them and we get a lot of iron. So let's fill those up with coal. So this is like a small way of automating it, but I still have to do a manually with the hand into the burners. So but we're gonna work that on the on the the next time for now i want to do one more thing Got a lot of, of these plates we can just right click to build five at a time i think we have enough right click uh, to cancel it Like this, and then we need to remove this pole because it's in the way. We can just place it over here. If it's in the way, again, we change it later. So we can change this direction and we need one more piece here oh i made a small mistake I and mean, i need to remove this one again because actually we need to run it like this and remove those that's my bad so let's turn this one and what we now I made some burner inserters and those we gonna put here. So burner inserters how they work, they grab coal, they need coal, but they grab it from the line and they use it first for themselves, and then the remaining coal they will put in the machine here. So and now slowly we get a backed up line, which is what we want. And this one is the really one. Yeah, it's still prepping. But it's not filling but at the moment, but I'm not sure at what level it will fill. It's, it will work. Um, so we have now a call to our power. And now we can work these properly. <coughs> uh, it means we probably need less coal to use the rest of the processes. I think this is a good moment to make an end on the episode here. So we have our first small automation already. And I think we can still do a lot more. But... This game takes quite a lot of time to really progress, but I think it's fun in the meanwhile as well, and I hope you enjoyed it, watching it. So my plan for the rest of the series is to continue my automation, research uh, everything, and then in the end, we'll see what we do from that point. I think I'm thinking actually to use this copper instead of the other one. The other one is quite far away. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you liked it so far. Once again, I won't use mods in this one, but in the future one probably uh, I might test some out. I'm not sure yet. I will see at that point. But for now, we're having fun with the way it goes. Uh, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.
and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.